Hey everyone, how are you? I hope you guys are doing amazing. Um, I just thought to do like a catch up video because I haven't made a video in, in a while. So I'm at work right now and I'm just on a break and I'm waist training today. I don't know if you can see. I'm waist training today. I just feel like it's best to waist train when you're at <clears throat> work. So I was saying that I like waist training when I'm at work because I feel like I'm standing for eight hours a day. My back is like, you know, like taking all the stress. And this just helps me keep everything in check, like snatched because I'm eating and I'm standing and I feel like this is just like training it. Might as well, right? Kill two birds with one stone. I don't know what you guys think about waist training, but let me know down in the comments. Okay, well, I'm going to go back to work and I will talk to you guys in a bit. It's just a game Living day to day And it's all the same, boy It's all the same, boy Hey guys, I'm at home. The clip you saw at the beginning was like literally two days ago. That's how behind on my vlogging I am. I'm sorry guys. But, um, I'm here chilling, sipping on some Hennessy. No, I'm just kidding. It's tea. <laughs> I'm not drinking Hennessy right now. Unless you guys want me to go wild, then maybe stay tuned. <laughs> Hi, if you're new to my channel... My name is Melody. Nice to meet you guys. Thank you for clicking on this for whatever reason it might be. I'm just thinking like how quickly the five months went by for taking hormones and everything. And it's been, it's been interesting. It's been very interesting. And I'm just looking a little crazy right now because I did a um, facial to myself. I don't know. I feel like I'm so good at like making, I don't know what it is. Like I just know what products and what kind of treatments are so good for my skin. Like I'm able, like I'm breaking out a little bit right here and I'm shedding a little bit right here if you can't see. And um, I was freaking out for those three things because my face is usually very clear. So when I put makeup on in the morning, it looks very um, smooth. But when I don't see it smooth, I'm like, oh shit, like I got to do something. So anyway, my point to that is last night I did a peel. Has anyone ever done that before? Uh, so I did like a tea tree peel at home, but like it's like 60% acid or something. Actually, let me grab it for you so you can actually know like what I'm talking about because it really fucked up my skin, but in a good way, like it's going to be a little dry and and cakey and dry for a couple of days, but it's gonna shed the top layer of the skin. And the tea tree is really going to kill the bacteria and just like eliminate acne. And I'm sorry, it's not 60%, it's 20% salicylic, um, enhanced with tea tree oil and green tea extract. And it's this It's, it's so crazy. Can you guys see it? So I did this last night. And if you guys never done a tea tree like peel or any type of peel, let me tell you, honey, it burns. 
like it burns so good just killing all the bacteria yeah it's not like it's not a bad burn it's a burn of like you know this shit's working you know <laughs> so um I did that last night and so this morning everything's kind of dry so I'm going to do like a mask tonight with an oil that's going to just just close all the pores make my skin retexturize so it can be so smooth and oh my gosh I wake up and my skin looks so alive and supple and you guys are telling me like probably right now you're gonna comment down below and you're gonna be like your skin's amazing your skin is like so good let me tell you bitch like once I use this it's gonna, it's gonna, like, in the morning, my makeup looks flawless, my skin looks flawless. It's a great, it's an overnight mask by Kiehl's. I'm gonna show you guys in the next, um, shot, maybe, depending where you'll see it in this video. So just keep watching. And yeah, so, I did that for my skin. This is what I think about. I think about my skin. I think about drinking tea which is so good for you. And I was actually playing my guitar. I was practicing this morning and I was trying to write out another song for you all, my loves. The ones who actually like genuinely kind of like my music, then it's for you. <laughs> but I'm a bad guitar player, but I'm trying to get better, and I'm trying to sing a little bit better. So I'm excited about that. Um, so the whole thing about this YouTube, just like a side note, YouTube, I guess, is changing the way people find videos. And have you heard about that YouTube lady shooter? She, like, got monetized a certain way, and... Like, none of her videos were able to monetize, and it was just crazy, and she shot up YouTube. I'm like, I'm like, yeah, it's serious. It was a serious thing. So, a lot of people are like, I'm quitting YouTube because they're monetizing, like, they're not monetizing this, or people aren't able to search me now, or, like, something crazy like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. So... I just think like that's kind of scary like that sucks like me as just like a transgender youtuber I'm trying to make content just so because it's my life like it's just I'm doing this to me just record for me to see it's kind of nice to look back on the years and see like what I thought then and how I'm evolving now and it's kind of it's just beautiful for me to see like it's kind of like I don't know like a diary in a way you know so when people find my videos it gets me excited and like it's like oh like there's some people that can relate and so like that's the best part so to think that people aren't going to be able to find my videos or just something like that it's kind of shocking it makes me kind of sad like where are we going next digitally and like the internet and like all of that like i don't know like what's gonna happen like what's what's going to be able to be seen that's a crazy thing to think about so anyway my point to that there was a point I wasn't just blabbing so <laughs> the point to that is I'm thinking about putting more personal because I don't want to get banned on YouTube like I love YouTube and I like it just as what it is now and like whatever it's gonna be like I I respect it because all my videos are here so what I'm thinking about doing to get more personal and to be more open I'm going to switch over to patreon and um, for patreon it's gonna be kind of like people who truly truly want to support me because at the end of the day like I'm trying to become I'm, I'm, I'm an artist and I'm trying to make content for people who want to support me grow because if you don't know me like I'm I'm a transgender girl I just been transitioning now for five months so I'm going to have to make money somehow you know like I can't just be 
trying to buy clothes and trying to make like modeling photo shoots or trying to do music and like buying pieces of that. music like I have a vision and I want to like produce it to the best of my abilities so to do that I'm gonna need some sort of income so I'm gonna make videos on patreon and if you really want to support me then there's gonna be like a little monthly subscription but it's not gonna be expensive it's gonna be like like five dollars or um there's gonna be like certain things like I can I can um one-on-one -on -one chat with you online if you're if you're going through this transition alone and you have no one to talk to and you really are nervous to go to talk to um groups you know transgender groups or like you're just so alone that you need someone to talk to i'm here to talk to you like i love making new friends but um i just feel like if i'm gonna be super un like just super blunt and super honest with this transition and everything it needs to be in the platform that I'm able to speak freely and not be like, oh my God, I'm gonna get monetized because of this. I'm gonna get monetized because of that. I'm like demonetized. Like, I don't wanna be so like annoying. I just wanna say whatever I want, show whatever I want and have no issues with that. So that's the main reason why I'm gonna move more videos to Patreon. And I'm gonna give you an example, so. For example, like breast growth, I really want to talk about on my channel because everyone, every trans girl goes through something different and not everyone grows the same. So I want to talk about my experience of how I'm growing and show you guys, like I'm not going to be naked, but I'm going to put a quarter or something on my nipple or like a diamond tassel or something. I don't know. Put something... <laughs> A diamond tassel but no like for real like I want to show you guys and be more personal but I can't do it on YouTube so that's why I've kind of been slowing like I don't know if you've noticed for two weeks I haven't posted because I've been really focusing on making that happen <sighs> trying to make money here guys trying to make money trying to you know be a little more savvy I'm so into horoscopes. Sorry, that was a lot of talking. But I'm so into horoscopes and my horoscope for this year is saying that like shit's gonna get done. Like no more bullshitting around. No more like I'm just doing shit like I don't want to I want to actually like try and progress and do something different so I'm trying to do that and that's just a, for like for anyone in general you know like it sucks about this whole YouTube thing but whatever I think that's what's gonna be the title of my video Anyway, guys, I love you so much. Thanks for all the support and all the love and everything that you guys um, share with me personally and, like, the motivation. It means a lot. I just love that um, I'm able to meet other amazing, beautiful people who are going through the same things as me. And you're not alone. You're never alone. Um, and just find other ways. Don't let things stop you. Don't let this YouTube thing stop you. Like, if you're not making money anymore on YouTube, or if you feel like you're not able to be successful on here, then find plan B. There's going to be plan A, plan B, plan C, plan D. You know? And I'm trying to take my own advice and trying to think the same, so. Okay, I'm done with the blabber. Bye, guys. Have an amazing day. All right, you all. All right, y'all. I'm back with another blabber. <laughs> Ew. I don't want to be known as, like, the blabber girl or anything like that. Like, I, I don't blab a lot. But I just really need to talk about these products because I feel like they work so well. And, um... If you don't even want to commit to these products, it's okay. I'm just sharing a couple of tips.
Like, I'm not sponsored or anything. So, I'm just talking about my experience with these. And I really like them. You guys should test the sample or whatever you want to do. So, anyway. So, I'm right now trying for the past couple days. I've been using the Ginger Leaf and Hibiscus Mask by Kiehl's. And it looks like that. Oh my gosh, it's so delicious. It has a strong, I want to say citrusy, but it's not. It's probably the ginger. Because it has that like, a little spice, a little like, a little citrusy, a little tang, a little twang. You know, that sort of smell. It smells very fruit as well. Or flowers. It smells like flowers. actually it smells so delicious so anyway okay so when I go to bed tonight I'm not gonna do it right now because I'm gonna go to the gym very fast do a workout that was planned for my body and then <laughs> and then I'm gonna hang out with my boo thing and practice more music and probably read a book so like I'm not gonna record all of that. That's just too, con I'm not that conceited. So I'm not going to do that. So ugh, let me get back to this. I'm so, I get so distracted easily. You'll start to get to know me once I start like vlogging more. So, okay. Before the mask, it's an overnight mask. So you go, you just put this all over your face, go to bed, wake up, and it makes it smoother. It makes the pores um, smaller and it makes everything feel tighter. So who doesn't love that? Um, but underneath it, I put the Midnight Recovery Concentrate, which is a blend of essential oils. This one smells so delicious. It has literally, like, so much. It has, like, Primrose, Jojoba, like, every, every, every oil. Seriously. So, um, or Lavender. I don't even know, but they have, like, every oil in the book. And it smells very, very flowery. So, I'm going to put, like, four drops on my hands. Put, like, three to four drops, depending on how dry you are. You're going to pat it, and then you're going to press it all over your face, just all over. Actually, I love putting it down my degligee as well, and my shoulders, just to give it a little. Don't forget about the neck and the chest and shoulders, the degligee area. And it just feels so yummy. You're going to put on your face. What the oil is going to do, it's going to help achieve a glow. It, you're going to look, it's going to recover your skin. When you wake up, it's going to look more refreshed. It's going to be less puffy. Um, basically, when I go party out all night, and then I have work like at 10 a.m. in the morning, but I'm only going to get like four hours of sleep, I use this, a couple of drops apply this just a good nice yummy scoop and just rub it all over your face don't be stingy with it just apply it it feels so wonderful and when i wake up i just look so refreshed and everything's tight and nice so try and do that that's my little tip for you i'm gonna go like this video thumbs it up for more videos if you like these long lengthy videos of mine and um, subscribe if you're new to my channel. And I will go ahead and start making more videos for you guys. Bye.